Hello, this is not a spring chicken as the markets go up and down and up. Oh yeah, they went down again today. Um, it's been a topsy-turvy, but you know, one of the biggest news items today is the micromanaging of pictures. Yes, President Obama on his vacation, she's been talking about, oh, railing against the millionaires and billionaires. Oh, wait, it might not be wise to have all those photos of them hanging out with them on yachts and, oh, yeah, places like that. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. The market falls as usual after Obama tells everyone of more of his spending and wanting to raise taxes. I know the man simply he lives in another he lives in an alternate universe, and but his people are their talking points. We we realize that there's no chance whatsoever that the Republicans will allow taxes to be raised on millionaires and billionaires, and because of that, all little businesses will be hurt in this country. Well, well I know, I, I know, Rex is here. As all everyone knows, Rex could be working for Fox News because he worships the president so much, so when we say anything negative, I have to cover Rex's ear. Um, they, they, the, the millionaires and billionaires tend to be Democrats. The little businessmen that supposedly the Republicans hurt are all Republicans. The people that get hurt are not the millionaires and billionaires because they sit there and have tax things that they can get out of the things, but the little guy doesn't have the tax lawyers to get them out. So mm -hmm. they said that I just read listen on Bloomberg there a second ago. He said that uh, that Obama's billionaires and millionaires taxes are going to hit the middle class like a rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for all those people that think, oh yeah, it means somebody else. No, it means you. Yeah. <laughs> President says, screw you to those things. Oh, what? To those things, those laws that are meant to be obeyed and pandered to his base? Oh yeah, okay, we'll put it this way, folks. They refuse to pass the DREAM Act. They can't get it passed virtually anywhere except in California. So Obama, by executive order, is passing the DREAM Act. That he's going he's gonna to fix it so that uh, he's going to jam the judicial system with one with one immigration trial at a time so that the states can't afford to hold immigration trials and at the same time uh, putting, making it easier I love it, well we're not going to give loans to those illegal aliens because it wouldn't be fair to our people mm -hmm. he's going to make it easier for uh, children of illegal aliens to get government loans to go to school and all those other things. Oh, really? Isn't that amazing? Amazing! What about the rest of the well, students? Well, they uh, basically said, we're, we're going to say that, that uh, okay, we'll, we'll, if people know what Jump the Shark is, okay, i got to cover his ears. But figure that B.S. the Bull is a shark. Obama has jumped the shark this week. He's, he decided to, uh, I mean, I, I know, um, she's basically a follower of Bill O'Reilly, who works as president also. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly says that this president is too smart to double down. He can't possibly do something that stupid. Yeah, he just did it again. He's been, has a history of doing He that. doubles down every single time he's losing, he attacks. Like, you know, he's going to blame it all on the Republicans. The problem is, he's the guy that keeps wanting to spend money, which everybody in the world says, stop spending money. And Obama is going to teach S and P. You don't mess with him. Oh, I know. I mean, this is a bad day for Rex, folks. Um, they said it's just a it's just a coincidence and timing that within days of the of them downgrading us, the president has the Justice Department start a criminal investigation. Well, actually, it's not a criminal investigation. The worst that they're going to get is fined and no longer to do business with the government. Ooh. Isn't that something? <laughs> Because that's a pure and simple threat. Uh, the people from S&P said, well, we realized that the President of the United States was sleeping during his classes on constitutional law. And they <laughs> said uh, he's supposed to be a constitutional instructor, but, you know, the First Amendment says if we think your credit sucks, we can say your credit sucks, and you can't tell us otherwise. And threatening us is a violation of our constitutional rights. So we're cooperating everywhere we possibly can, but we'll see you in court. Mm -hmm. And they said, we will see you in court. This, a little while ago, uh, uh, a family, one of, the, one, of the, one of the families of the people that were killed by the Fast and Furious thing it basically said that we're patient, we'll wait till this man is no longer in office and then file a civil suit against him as, a, as before, after, and during the fact of the murder of my husband. Ooh. He's protected while he's president. He is not protected from civil litigation. Remember, Obama's court just ruled 
that uh, you can go after people in the Bush administration. Well, guess what? Yeah. It goes both ways. Right. And nobody likes this man. I mean, this man is, I recommend one here, this man is a lot like, his approval rating is tanking. But, you know, at this time in Ronald Reagan's first term, his ratings were worse. Um, let's see, they said 26% uh, people approve what he's doing, 53% approve. Um, let's see, he had a 47% approval rating overall, 39. Oh, I forgot. We got to do this for the Democrats. Folks, this is how you count to one if you're a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And a Florida couple charged for hoarding 700 cats. You don't have to cover Rex's ears on that one. <laughs> and Obama. Where do you put 700 cats in a house? <laughs> I don't know, but there's got to be a stench there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my, my, my little girl had seven cats. You know, mainly because the, kid, the female she got had kittens. Yeah, so, and she couldn't get rid of the kittens because they were hers. And Obama by executive orders to use biofuels on government planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, okay, uh, I know it's a bad day for Rex. You know, those green vehicles that he's ordering 50,000 of be built by General Motors? Guess who's buying all of them? Oh. And, and here the trick is that every 100 pounds of, and they said every 100 pounds of reduction in an automobile bill re, uh, results in five people dying. Mm -hmm. So, and Obama, in order to get the mileage reduction, you cannot make the engines run more efficient. You cannot, okay, you know, Rex doesn't want to hear this, but you can't, there is no such thing as a green car. They use non-green energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he, he's building a car that no one wants, that no one, basically you can't get the green people to buy these cars now. Because you can't go anywhere. Like we heard, uh, Leonard DiCaprio just bought himself a very expensive car and then found out he's too tall for the car. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. It's because he had one of his people. I now, mean, um, you no, have to respect him for putting his mouth money where his mouth is, they, but they, apparently he didn't take it for a test drive. He had one of his people went and got it because it was the proper, it was the politically correct thing to do. Sometimes. It's a politically incorrect, stupid thing to do. Yeah, well, he, he can't even, well, he can't drive it, so yeah. what, what good does it do? And a Florida couple, oh wait, oh. oh. It's a lot of abomination. Paper maker claims responsibility for Mississippi River fish kills. Yeah, it, it was basically, it was a democratically controlled business, which so it took so long for it to happen. What, for it to kill the fish or for them for to For them to be... admit that they poisoned the water. Um, they dumped uh, like cyanide and stuff in the water. What? That's, that's paper made with cyanide. You're supposed Don't to they know it, better? You're supposed to put it in holding pans, but the problem is sometimes they don't want to spend the money to dispose of it right, so they just dump it straight in the water. Well, they know that under Obama, the worst you're going to get is if... Is, okay, here's the worst possible thing under the Obama administration that he can do. He can send Hillary out and, mm -hmm. and she's really getting tired of doing it. She's got to run against him for president, folks. And Obama to give amnesty to the illegal aliens a time, time to vote for him? Yeah, it's being done right now. Uh, the states that he's losing at the moment have high illegal alien populations. So he's going to give them amnesty, which will allow them to register in time to vote for him. But they don't like him. They don't. They don't like him. They don't like him. They finally set out. He basically believes in gay rights. They don't believe well, in gay here's, rights. Here's he believes in abortion. They don't believe in abortion. Here's the other part they forget is for them to register to vote, they have to have an address, and they don't like to pe tell people where they are. I know. He doesn't. Okay. Uh, remember, the Democrats are not the most bright people on earth. Because remember, how did the Democrat count to one? <laughs> well, and Governor Brown, Jerry Brown from California, appoints a job czar. Yeah. He's going to get people to working in California. We're going to take some of that problem back money that we didn't know we were going to have, which actually came from the United States government stimulus program, and invest it in job programs to put people to work, which means uh, having people put pavers in the middle of a street uh, that is occupied by a zillion cars a day and trucks that weigh, I don't know, 20, 30 tons. Mm -hmm. But it looks nice. Mm -hmm. But they're already starting to come up. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, that's very simple. That if you have to, you 
you all ten fingers and one shoe off to count to one, you know you've went to school under the Democratic administration.